Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylarius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. So this video has been requested a whole lot. All right. So what we're talking about are the top five vehicles under a hundred thousand dollars for the player who is a beginner. All right. These vehicles are actually some of them are even free. You don't have to pay anything for them, but they're all under a hundred thousand. There are a couple at the end of the video I'll, I'll be talking about that are honorable mentions that I do recommend as a beginning player if you can get them to use them and take advantage of what they can offer in the game. All right. So the first one, my favorite. This is my first car I ever used. I love it. It's widely seen as one of the best four-door vehicles, especially for the beginner. You can steal this and just keep it for yourself, or you can purchase it. Twelve thousand dollars. That's it. This is the Karen Sultan. Awesome car. Very good vehicle, four-door, a lot of customization. Uh, at one time, it was the fastest four-door vehicle, and it's still in the top uh, range for the fastest four-door vehicle in the game. Now, uh, it's got all-wheel drive, like I was saying before. It's very good in case your vehicle gets hung up. It's got great speed, great handling. Like I said, a lot of customization. Have fun with it. It's it's a cheap vehicle. You get a lot of bang for buck. Again, you could just find one of these on the road, steal it, or purchase it. I stole mine. That was, like I said, this is my very first car. The one that you see right here is the actual first First one that I ever had. I never uh, sold it. I kept it the whole time, and uh, I love this vehicle. It's really good. Very easy vehicle to you know learn with and use. It's just a good all-around vehicle. The Karen Sultan is awesome. Plus, you can uh, modify it at Benny's later on down the road once you follow all my money-making guides and get rich. All right. <laughs> so, the Elegy RH8. Okay, this vehicle is actually free. All you have to do is link your account on Social Club. And this vehicle will be free for you. And it's one of the best vehicles in the game. It's one of the best sports class vehicles. It's got great handling. It's got decent top line speed. Um, it's got really cool customization to it. It's just a good car. And all you have to do to get this vehicle for free is just simply link your account on Social Club. If you don't know how to do that, just Google, how do I link my PSN, Xbox, or Steam account to social club and you'll find tons of tutorials and videos i think i even have a couple of them uh and it'll walk you through how to do that it's a very simple process takes no time at all and then you'll get a notification that you can actually purchase this vehicle for free in the game it's great um i had it available for free for the longest time i didn't even know it but yeah it's all wheel drive as well so it's very good with traction you won't get hung up on it again it's fast good handling you know a lot most of these vehicles don't offer anything in terms of armor but, you know, when you're starting out, you need to focus on, you know, just the grind with, it, you know, missions and things like that. Maybe a few races here or there uh, and just kind of light in stuff, you know, stay in solo public lobbies or use the MTU method or for Xbox, the uh, Internet test connection, all that good stuff. So uh, the Pegasi Body 801, this is a motorcycle right here, $15,000. I do don't, I, I can't remember if you can steal this one or not. Some of the motorcycles you can't keep, even though they're pretty cheap. But somebody can let you know in the comments down below. I can't remember. I, I bought mine, so uh, I have a couple of them, actually. I love the Body 801. Still to this day, is one of the best bikes to use in racing. Extremely fast, extremely agile. This motorcycle, the Body 801, is very good at handling. And again, if you have to purchase it, uh, 15000 That's it. It's a really good vehicle. Um, I Listen, for all these vehicles, though, as soon as you are able to, make sure that for a couple of the vehicles, at the very least, you have bulletproof tires on. That way, if you're doing missions and things, your tires aren't getting shot up, and that's going to be a major issue, especially on a motorcycle. Um, the motorcycle isn't the best for missions because you don't have a lot of uh, vehicle to hide behind for cover, but for motorcycle races, the Body 801 is still a very competitive bike. Uh, and I've won a lot of races with this, even up against Shitaros and, uh, you know, million dollar bikes that are way faster uh, in straights and things like that. So, but the body is really good. Though. I like it. The Vapid Dominator, an oldie but a goodie. Uh, again, this is a vehicle that you can steal. I stole mine, unless something has changed. But yeah, I, I stole my first one. But just to purchase it, it's $35,000. Not that bad. Still to this day, one of the fastest in a straight line. Uh, vehicles. It's one of the still to this day one of the best overall 
going around a track with uh, the muscle class. There's only a few cars that can beat it, and not only top speed, but uh, around a track. It's a really cool car. It's only rear-wheel drive, so it's a little bit harder to control. It is a muscle car, so it has a lot more torque. Uh, again, no you know defensive capability, no armor, uh, but still a great car to get around. It's a two-door. Very good to uh, just you know get away with. It's and it sounds amazing. Oh my God, the Dominator is one of the best sounding cars in the game. It really does have a nice um, you know muscle car sound to it, and it's really fun. And plus, if you guys don't know this, I'm sure most of you do, but the muscle cars now have a new feature where you can actually do a wheelie with them. Uh, you just hold down the handbrake and the gas, and when you let go, you actually do a wheelie. That's pretty cool. I like that feature with the muscle cars, and the Dominator is one of those vehicles that can do it. Very fun car, really fun to drift with as well. If you're into that kind of thing, you want to start doing that slide drifts and things, it's really cool to just tool around in the city. Fast, good handling, decent handling. Takes a little bit of time to get used to. Now, capping out at our $100,000 mark is going to be the Comet. The Comet's actually a pretty good car, even though it's one of the more expensive ones uh, at 100 grand. You know, again, you don't, for me, I used the Karen until I bought my uh, Zentorno, which was, you know, a 700 and something thousand, and I saved up over a million because I wanted to have the upgrades as well. But if you wanted something a little bit flashier, maybe you're into some kind of car shows, you wanted something, you know, a little bit quicker, the Comet's actually a really fun car, really fun to drive, uh, rear wheel drive as well. It gets around pretty fast, good acceleration. It's just a cool car, you know, it's a show car, it's a flashy car. There's cars that are faster, better handling. Uh, but it does serve the purpose and you know for a cheap hundred thousand dollar price This is a, a pretty good car to get you around uh, For doing missions and things like that for good speed decent handling and just overall some fun And you know you can pull up and have a you know a cool little uh, car to show off to some of your friends and you know two-door It's not gonna be able to carry a bunch of people uh, But you know once again, you know, there's hey, guys listen I know that everyone's list is going to be different. I get that This is just my recommendations what I've done and there are some facts content behind this in terms of the car's performances and things like that so keep that in mind so on to a couple of the honorable mentions the duke of death i have to mention this even though i have to pay six hundred and sixty five thousand dollars there were a ton of players that were able to get this vehicle for free if you were a returning player back a couple years ago uh, if you had an Xbox 360 or a PS3 and you transferred your account, you can no longer do that, unfortunately. Um, so it's kind of null and void, but I, I can't go on with this without mentioning this vehicle. It was a free vehicle to you. So maybe you transferred your account. You didn't know about the Duke of Death. You just saw my video. Now you know. Go find the Duke of Death in Warstock, Cache, and Carry. And uh, this vehicle is free. It's got decent armor, actually. It takes multiple explosives. Uh, I want to say it's like three RP. I've done the testing. I just can't remember. It's like three RPGs and like five or six, seven, eight homing rockets, something like that. It's actually pretty good against explosive armor. It's got decent small arms uh, protection. So uh, it's actually, and you know, again, for some of those members, it is a free vehicle. Now, this is, a, you know, my, my top five, right, uh, for under 100000 But for, I have to mention it because, you know, it is a free vehicle for the returning players. And I'm sure people will be like, oh, I got the Duke of Death for free. That's the best car, you know. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that, okay. Uh, but it is a good car. And once you start saving up some money, I highly recommend you have this in your inventory because it is very, very fun. And it's very advantageous to use during the game so this is another uh one of my honorable mentions right here this is the jester two hundred forty thousand dollars so not that bad it is out of our hundred thousand dollar range but there's a particular reason why the jester was so beneficial to a lot of players and can be beneficial towards you it is all-wheel drive it's a beautiful car it's very good handling very good with speed it's just a really nice car overall but there is a certain feature that was very very useful and helpful to a lot of players that only a handful of vehicles have. Once you buy the Jester for 240000 and you go to modify it, there is a option or a feature that you can add to this vehicle to make it bulletproof in the rear. If you go to the roof, you can add an attachment for $665, the rear louvers. Um, and it's just, it, it, what it does is it blocks out the back window. You can shoot out of it, but you can't be shot into right so it works great for npcs you can back up to a location and just shoot all the guys up and you're good to go right 
So it really does help out a little bit more. If you can stretch it and grind a little bit more, uh, it is a very good car I'd recommend using. Okay, so I hope this video helped out. Uh, once again, I know your guys' uh, list may be different. That's fine. No big deal. This is something you know I thought I'd throw out there because a lot of people were asking about it and what I would recommend. Some good cars out there, very useful. So thank you all so much for coming out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illust and Reels content in the game. Make sure you smash. I mean, smash that like button. Stay dangerous. Peace.